The way Hibs have been going lately, you would have been laughed at had you recommended that Clyde Bank would win all three points in this game. And Hibs really should have scored there through Stevie Crawford, one of the most prolific goal scorers in the first division. Coming up a dangerous moment for Hibs. Marenkov causing trouble for Giskalsen. And he only just clears. A real case for a free kick there too. And the Clyde Bank fans not amused. The breakthrough finally came for Clyde Bank. Nichols' free kick nodded into the net by Barry Elliott. And a shock lead for Clyde Bank. Imps had the opportunity here to get right back into the match. Joe McLaughlin pulling at Kenny Miller's shirts too strongly. And a penalty is awarded. Stevie Crawford, though, it really wasn't his day. And Scott saving comfortably. Here's Stevie Crawford again with a 50 yard run. He's been sensational for Hibbs this season. And he was looking to get his side back into the game. But strong claims for a penalty there. But the referee waving away his claim. Point Bank were determined to take all three points in this game. And with the 1 0 advantage. All they needed was a little help from an ex Hybe, looking to gain some revenge over his former side. And Graham Love with plenty of space and 22 yards out. Some rare delights for the Clyde Bank fans, beating the league leaders. Certainly won't put a dent in Hibbs' title aspirations, but that tackle certainly did from Barry Lavetti. A shocking tackle on McLaughlin. No doubt about it, he's off. We felt today they didn't need to win the game today because they won the league. So we, we obviously felt we had a wee chance with them not needing to win the game. And we did need to win the game. So uh, it worked in our favour.